What's going on, fellow shenaniganders? You like my new headlamp? Boom. I just got this thing. Actually, it's supposed to really go on the inside. Like this. And then you can angle it down too. Wait. See, like so. Or up. And as you saw, it has a few different settings. But I think that's like near vision, far vision, whatever, night vision. So I got this, uh, actually, I wasn't even going to hit record tonight. Because I didn't think there was going to really be anything interesting. I'm just tinkering around as usual. But uh, i kind of wrapping up right now. And Jamie and her mother are playing with the new kitten. So I figure I got a few minutes to take a quick video. Oh, stretch my back because I've been bent over for the last couple hours. But yeah, so this little thing here is pretty sweet. I think I paid 14 bucks all in on Amazon. And I've been using it for the last couple nights and it's super lightweight. Well, I like this thing. I saw it uh, on some other YouTube video. I think the dude was garage sailing or something and I was like, I want to try one of those. With expectations, I might end up returning it, as everybody does with all their Amazon purchases. And uh, actually, I'm keeping this thing. It's pretty sweet. So, let's uh, show you what I've been up to. Okay, so I came downstairs and what was the first thing I did? Oh, actually, let me think about this. I'll try and go in the order of operation here. What? Well, I think the first thing I did was played a test game on skateball because in the last video you probably seen I was having issues with my display it was glitching uh, or flickering and I then afterwards was getting more issues where the machine wouldn't even boot up. I would get six flashes, but I wouldn't get the seventh flash, which usually mean you're not getting solenoid voltage, I believe. So I was measuring my solenoid driver voltages, and it was testing weird, but uh, I didn't really suspect the driver board. So what I did was pull out the old CPU, and in hindsight, it was getting a little crusty. Uh, and so I put in a brand spanking new Weebly all-in-one uh, MPU here. Uh, yeah, they're Weebly.com. I bought three of these a long time ago, and that's the last one. Like, I'm talking two years ago. So I need to buy more. So don't everybody go to Weebly.com and clear out the stock, because I need. Anyway, now that that's been in there, the game has been working perfectly. So, stay tuned, as there will be a gameplay video on this soon. All right, so then, here's the box for that headlamp. Let's uh, take a look. Here it is, cap light, LED plus COB, whatever that is, motion sensor, really? Okay, oh and there's the little two inch charge cable and you even got a little case for it and the instructions well I don't think we're gonna get into that but you know me I don't like to read instructions if I can help it although it's always advisable to read the damn instructions okay so what else do we got here uh, okay so then I thought uh, there's a couple little crappy things I got to do that are just not all that exciting and fun. I like fun things. Whoa, that's not fun. I have a couple Cliffy's protectors for my fun house. So I read the instructions and read the instructions and read the instructions and read the instructions. And I said, screw that. I'm not doing that tonight. So I went from the 
kettle to the fire because what I decided to do is just bear down and grin and bear it. Is that what the saying is? And work on black hole. I'm getting so close to bringing in the cabinet. So what I did was, let's turn on the lights, the other light, and the other light. There, we got super light. Okay, so I had purchased a couple new old stock Gottlieb flipper mechs. And they've had them for a year or so. But I decided instead of fudging around with the old flipper mechs, old, and rebuilding them, I just replaced completely the two main flippers on this game. I don't have any more, so I'm not doing the third and fourth flipper. But that took a while, as they always do. Uh, everything is good. I just got to align and tighten the flipper bats to perfection of alignment. But as you can see, everything is new. Except original coils. And I think that's it. Um, yeah, so new and a stroke switches which will be great for power i'm gonna get some serious air off this guy did have to remove the display and bracket here to gain access oh there was a little bit of shenanigans uh, i accidentally installed this side and i was all ready to go soldered the switch on and had it here and couldn't put my flipper bat through because i had the wrong side on the wrong side so i had to undo all of my six screws and seven eight screws and nine ten screws and then uh, fix that all up so the last thing i have to do on this machine i believe is rebuilt rebuild these two flipper mechs and then i can bring in a brand new shiny kevin cabinet that he works so hard on and I have been slacking myself so that's what I did that took up a good chunk of time and I wasn't sure I was gonna get around to doing much more but I did something else one or two things oh actually one of the first things I did I'm not gonna really be able to show you very well but there's a thing called a switch stabilization kit. And what it is, is just a metal bracket that you stick your plantier switch and it kind of, the bracket sandwiches it, switches in between, and it prevents the switch from going back and forth. I think it usually, once you're always clipping the left side, it kind of moves over to the right, if I recall. Um, and I'm manually moved it a couple times then i heard of this stabilization kit on the pin side lord of the rings thread gave her a try it was super simple to install and uh the one piece of the bracket kind of locks into the other piece in the sandwich there so it literally should not move so that was the first thing i did that was really quick and easy and uh that put me off to a good start but yeah, here's the, uh, I want to get a cliffy on that guy. It's pretty beat up on the one side, so uh, I might have to fill it first, possibly. Is that, which one is, yeah, this is the one for that, I believe. Or is it? No. Mm. I'm having uh, orientation issues in my brain here. Oh, because I didn't think it slipped under. I thought the bracket ended here some for some reason. So I'm like, why is this here? I didn't see that in the instructions. But yeah, so you can see I have to remove a whole crap load of crap, including the scoop. And that's just for the one. Then I got to remove a whole crap load of crap to do the other scoop, which is not as bad. But 
That goes in the coin box for another day. Then, I moved over to my super neglected pinball magic. Now, I say neglected, but I've been restoring this thing on and off for like a year. And there was two things left to do, basically, before I hope it to be fully functional. One was replace the coil stops. Where are the coil stops? Here is an original Capcom coil stop. Weird shape, eh? So these two go into the flipper bracket, these holes, and then those two holes go through the flipper bracket, then into the play field wood. Let's see if I can show you that. There you go. Like so. So, I had um, one original and one just make work coil stop, which was needed washers to uh, align it properly. Uh, so I was kind of hoping the new coil stops would also prevent the buzzy flippers. The original one did not buzz, but the left one buzzed. But the problem is the new reproductions, the stops are just a smidge shorter. So I was thinking in my head, mm, I feel like they're going to buzz. So when you hold the flippers down, like on modern sterns, sure enough, now they both buzz instead of none buzz. But that's just a thing. It's okay. It's fine. If anybody has any original Capcom coil stops, maybe just one in good condition, it would help me get my buzz off. Uh, so I'd be happy to buy a couple new old stock ones, especially. But the Stern or Marco reproduction ones, they look good. And now both sides are the same. So I'm happy about that. So that was just a very minor thing. But the main thing is that I have never not been able to really play the game too much because I was having trough opto issues. So I started by removing the apron and then turns out you gotta, there's six screws for the apron. Then you gotta remove the guide, which is another couple screws. Then you gotta disconnect the trough board on each side and then two screws on each side like so and how does one access these screws uh, like so this is how i do i don't know if you guys if, any, if you have like a two inch screwdriver trick so i just go like that and you can actually even stick the bit into the quarter inch wrench and then just spin it like that that's how i got in there so that was a little tricky, but not too tricky for the icky. That's my high score initials, if you didn't already know. ICK. It's an old public school nickname from my old public school best friend. He called me Ickle. Ick for short. So, what I just did was reflowed everything on these opto boards. The optos, the resistors, the connectors. I did that for both sides, transmitter and receiver. And all that's really left is to test it out. Well, I put everything back together and then test it out. I'm not really gonna bother testing right now because ideally you have to put the play field back down. Uh, but in order to do that, I gotta put the apron back on. In order to do that, I gotta put this back on. And I may just leave it like this tonight and come and deal with this in the morning. I don't want it sitting like this too long. I don't know, some undue pressure on the play field. There's a lot of weight right here. Uh, so I won't want to leave it like that too long. Get some play field warpage or something. 
but I wonder how the how this plywood compares to like modern stern. Anyway, so I think that is all that I accomplished tonight, which was some stuff. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna risk this. Don't usually do it until it's proven and tested. But just so that I feel like I accomplished something, I've been going on, oh yeah, look at this. Left coil stop for pinball magic. Boom. And then ball ending prematurely, trough optos, question mark. I'm gonna cross it off. I don't normally do that, but I'm getting frisky tonight. I put in a new uh, power board and it hasn't reset since, so I don't think I'm gonna have to reflow the caps and bridges on that. And my Genie Weldment does have a couple, um, one or two welds broken, I believe, but kicks out of there so perfectly and um, without issue that I haven't decided whether I wanna fix that or not. Probably should, but eh, we'll see. And then, yeah, look, Funhouse Clippies. What is this? Oh, test my repaired Alltech driver. Lord of the Rings. Gollum is kind of flaky occasionally. Shooter lane switch might be a little sensitive. I might clean that up post at the back. Because sometimes I just don't understand the rules as to when that up post goes off and when it doesn't. And sometimes it does. And sometimes it doesn't, sometimes you think it's going to go up, and sometimes it doesn't, like, to, vert, to divert into the Orthanc Tower, if that's how you even say it. And sometimes you cleanly hit that right orbit, and you know that up post is up, but the ball friggin' jumps over it. I don't know if that's a timing thing or just a strong flipper thing. But yeah, so I thought maybe if I clean the up post, that might make it a little more faster acting, in case it might be a little gunky, like... The slingshots were and everything basically so that's what's on the rest of the to-do list that and reassemble an entire black hole so that's the update for the night there was some action here's uh, some of the old flipper mechs two from this black hole two from the old black hole with all this i will make the last two flippers all happy course oh i'm gonna have to get new coil sleeves i'm getting low on these guys i wonder if that's the part number 5064 but these scotlieb ones are a little bit different size than the bally ones so you want to get the right ones otherwise you may run into problems uh yeah so that was just a bit of a update for the night in case you were looking for some shenanigan action well there you have it boys and girls thanks for watching we'll catch up with you guys Shooter or later. That's a black words. Black words, black hole? Yeah, black words. <laughs>